gotcha. Mm. Hi. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Don't scream. Don't scream. I'm not going to kill you or anything. Yeah, I mean, I guess I did just pull you back into this alley. But can you really be that surprised? I mean, you're walking down the street in the middle of a busy city with your headphones in. <laughs> and Dad says I'm the clueless one. Hmm? Oh, Daddy? Yeah, well, I'm kind of the daughter of Dracula. No big deal, though. Look, seriously, there is no need to freak out. All that Bram Stoker shit is mostly made up. He was a family friend while we were living in Dublin. Nice guy. Learned a little more than he should have. Or so Daddy says. Look, I told you, stop screaming. And before you ask any questions, no, I don't die in the sunlight, I just burn easily. No, I'm not allergic to garlic. Dad just really doesn't like it. And yes, a wooden spike will kill me. But I mean, come on, who wouldn't that kill? God. Look, I've been dealing with these kinds of questions for centuries. So can you please just let me eat? Are you for real? <laughs> of course I'm not going to kill you. Then I would have to deal with disposing your body, and that is not fun. Believe me. I just need to draw some blood for maybe a minute or so. Then I'll erase your memory, leave you with a cool and mysterious scar, and then we'll walk away. Cool? No, it won't turn you into a vampire. Do you realize how impractical that is? Okay, look, you're squirming way too much, so I'm gonna have to find your pressure point and... There it is, and unconscious you go. <sighs> I hate having to do that. It's so rude.